bone connective tissue. This is made for anatomy 10A lab at Mount San Antonio College. There are four main tissue types in the body. We have epithelial tissues, connective tissue, muscle tissues, and nervous tissues. Remember, connective tissue have scattered cells, and sometimes in the matrix, that's the space outside the cell, <laughs> outside the cell, the matrix can be liquid, solid, or semi-solid. Because we're talking about bones, this would definitely be a solid matrix. Uh, so remember, bone is under the heading of supporting connective tissue. And uh, there are two kinds of bones you need to be aware of. There's compact bones and spongy bones. So here's an image of a cut surface of a bone. And these, look, this is typical of bone underneath a microscope, okay? This whole thing, this is one unit, this whole round unit is called an osteon. Here's another round unit called an osteon. Here's another round unit called an osteon. Now how do I know is, is one unit? Well, every osteon has a central canal, okay? So once you see that, you know that's one unit. Obviously, bones, where are you going to find this compact bone? is going to be in long bones, okay, like the femur or the humerus. Okay, here's a drawing of the same image here, but let's look at the drawing because it's easier to see. Once again, this whole circular system, each of this is an osteon, okay. In the middle of the osteon is a central canal. And around the central canals are rings, okay? You kind of, it looks like a, a, a tree that got chopped down, these rings. You know how you can tell a tree by its age by these rings? Well, instead of the, the rings, we call them lamella. I'm sorry, lamella, okay? So concentric lamella would be all the rings inside each other uh, uh, that's oriented around the, uh, the central canal. Those are the concentric lamella of osteon and around the the in each of these rings you see these little lines these little oval dark area that would be lacuna and in that lacuna would be the osteocyte the cell of the bone so let's look at where we're coming from this is a cut section of a very long bone and I want you to appreciate that in long bone, this section, this area right here, would be considered compact bone. As you go toward the center, you start to see more holes in the bone, and that is now called spongy bone. Okay, Let's pay attention to the compact bones right now. Each of these compact bone region is really comprised of smaller cylinders, smaller columns, if you will. And each of those columns is an osteon. If you look closely at each of the columns, you will see the central canal in the center of the osteon. And then around the central canal are rings called lamella. Okay, lamella. Let's go on. Here's another view. Okay, this is a long bone. In the very center, you have bone marrow and blood vessels. Here's the wedge out of this long bone. This would be the outside of the bone. And here is the compact bone layer. As you move toward the center, it starts to become more holy, you know, with holes, that is. And this is now called the spongy bone area. In the compact bone area, we have these cylinders, these columns, called osteon. And in the center of the osteon is the osteonic canal, or the central canal, is what we have on your list. And around each of the canal, are these circles called lamella. Okay, lamella. Now, if you want to look down here, you see these little dark oval. Those would be lacuna. And inside the lacuna would be the osteocyte. That is the name of the bone cell. Okay, remember, osteo for bone, site for cell. So the cells in the bone is an osteocyte. And just like the cartilage, uh, chondrocyte, osteocytes also live in a space called lacuna. Okay. Let's go to uh, 
another slide. Okay, so here's another picture of compact bone. And even in this slide, it might be a little confusing, but this is an osteon, that's another osteon, and in the middle of the osteon is the central canal. So this osteon is running into and out of the screen. Okay, osteon is running into and out of the screen. Okay, high power. Let's just look at one osteon. Okay, so this is one osteon here. And as you can see, in the middle is the central canal. And then around is a ring called lamella. Here's another ring called lamella. Another ring called lamella. Another ring called lamella. And in each of this ring, you see the lacuna. Okay, all of these dark spaces, that would be lacuna. And it's in the lacuna that we have uh, osteocyte. Okay, we have osteocyte. Now, in this view, there's going to be another new word I want to introduce. If you see these small, fine lines coming out, from the central canal out to the different lacuna. Those small fine lines are called canaliculi. Canaliculi is plural, okay? So these lines, dark little fine lines coming out of the, you know, seem to be radiating outward from the central canal, going towards the lacuna and the osteocyte, those would be canaliculi. Here is a high power view of a partial osteon. Okay, this is one very large osteon, and we're only looking at the lower half of the osteon. That's the central canal in the middle. This is one lamella here, another ring here of another lamella, another lamella, another lamella. Okay, so all those are the rings called lamella. And in the rings, you see these little dark spaces. That would be the lacuna. And it's in that lacuna that we will see the osteocyte. From this view, it's great to see these fine little squiggly lines coming into the, uh, the different lacuna, seem to be radiating outward from the central canal. That would be the canaliculi, which is plural for canaliculus. Mm -hmm. Another view of just one osteon, okay? central canal or herbertian canal in the middle and we have rings called lamella okay these are rings called lamella and uh, in the rings we see lacunas that will house the osteocyte and then radiating outward would be canaliculi these fine little lines okay coming out of the uh, central canal here's a quarter of an osteon. Okay, you can imagine this go completely around. Central canals in the middle. These are rings. This is a lamella, another lamella, another lamella, another lamella. Okay, those are the rings around the oste uh, central canal. Now, here in the lamella, you see the lacuna, where we're going to find the osteocytes. In this case, they just go ahead and name it osteocyte because really you can't tell where the lacuna ends and the osteocyte begins. So it would be correct to call it either osteocyte or lacuna. And of course, the little fine lines radiating outward from the center canal towards these uh, osteocytes or toward these lacuna would be canaliculi. Okay, from this view, we are looking at part of an osteon. Of course, the, uh, the central canal is up here above the screen, but you do see part of a lamella here, another ring, another ring, another ring, another ring. And along the way, we see these lacunas, or osteocytes in the lacuna. And then, of course, you see the squiggly lines coming out toward the lacuna. Those squiggly lines you see throughout here, all of those would be canaliculi. Another view of bone. Okay, hopefully you get the hang of it now. Make sure you understand central canal, lamella around the osteon. I'm sorry, lamella around the uh, central canal. This whole thing is one osteon. This little thing here, these things would be uh, lacuna in which we find osteocytes. 
And then the fine line radiating out would be the canaliculi. Here we have compact bone under lower power. And here's one osteon, another osteon, another osteon, another osteon. Okay, so this would be running into the screen and out of the screen. Okay. Here's another osteon all by itself. Probably a repeat. Oh, am I going backward? Okay, sorry about that. But anyway, here's another view of uh, compact bone. Make sure you see one osteon here, another osteon here, another osteon here, another osteon here. Okay, so multiple osteons in this slide. And you see a lot of the osteocytes in lacuna. You can see the central canal. You can see the lamella. And you can even see the canaliculi coming into the lacuna. Okay, here's another look at multiple osteons in compact bone. Okay. Make sure you see all the parts of compact bone, such as central canal, lamella, osteocytes in lacuna, and the fine little lines called canaliculi. Here we have two osteons. It looks almost like two eyes on an owl, okay? Uh, this would obviously be compact bones. Okay, two osteons. Each of them has a central canal in the middle. Lamella, these rings, okay? And that would be lacuna in which we would find osteocytes. Low power of a compact bone with multiple, many, many osteons. Okay, many, many osteons. Okay, I hope you get the hang of this now. Here's another look at compact bone with many osteons. Okay, many osteons. Alright, that's it.